Hello, students. Today I am going to discuss a trick to solve the problem of isomerism by which this trick, the solving of problem of isomerism becomes very easier. Now I'm going to take an example, C4H, C4H6, 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 how many, how many a structural isomers isomers are possible are possible by this molecular formula by this molecular formula a question arises how many A structural isomers are possible by this molecular formula. Many of his friends think that this is the general formula of CnH2n minus 2. CnH2n minus 2 and therefore there are two isomers that is this and this only. One butyne and two butyne. One butyne and Two butyl. Is it correct? Is it correct? No. There are nine isomers by this molecular formula. And how is it possible? How is it possible? You can see it is possible by a concept IHD. What is IHD? IHD. It is possible by a concept IHD. Index of hydrogen hydrogen deficiency deficiency index of hydrogen deficiency. It is also called as double bond equivalence. It is also called as double bond equivalence. It is also known as degree of unsaturation. What is the formula? What is the formula? ISD, IHD. Number of, number of H atoms in open chain saturated system saturated system system minus number of H atoms number of H atoms minus number of H atoms in given system Number of H atoms in given system. Number of H atoms in open chain saturated system minus number of H atoms in given system divided by 2. And by knowing the value of ISD, ISD, we can know the number of structural isomers very easily you can see for this molecular formula ihd isd is equal to for this molecular formula isd is equal to for c4 for c4 number of open chain Number of H atom in open chain saturated system is equal to C4S10, C4S10, that is 10, and in given system 6, 
ten minus six this is given the stem by two is equal to two is equal to two now you can see now you can see what is the meaning of this two here what is the meaning of this two here you can see two pi bonds two pi bonds two pi bonds or or two cycle two cycle or one pi bond plus one cycle one pi bond for and one cycle you can see that the meaning of two pi bonds is one triple bond one triple bond or two double bonds two double bonds using this concept it is clear that isd is two two means two pi bonds or two cycle or one pi bond plus one cycle total two two pi bonds can be written as one triple bond or two double bonds now i'm going to solve this problem one by one using one by one and a step by a step four carbon atoms one double bond four carbon atoms one double bond if we take this this is two double bonds this is on alternate position sorry on alternate position this is two double bonds and it is two double bonds it is not possible because the carbon becomes pentavalent cut it now i am going to take triple bonds one triple bond here and another is here one butane two butane now you will if you will take branch chain arrangement branched chain arrangement branch chain arrangement the triple bond will be anywhere but this carbon also becomes pentavalent and therefore it is not possible now two cycle two cycle in the form of this two cycle this is bicyclo compound now one cycle plus one pi bond one cycle plus one pi bond like this one cycle one pi bond one cycle one pi bond one cycle one pi bond like this and one cycle one pi bond one cycle one pi bond here one cycle one pi bond here the valency of carbon is 4 the valency of carbon is 4 now now i am going to give hydrogen to no hydrogen here 3 1 2 3 1 hydrogen 1 hydrogen 2 hydrogen 
C4 as sex. In all cases, the hydrogen will be sex. In all cases, the hydrogen will be sex. In all cases, the hydrogen will be sex. You can see. In all cases, the hydrogen will be sex. In all cases, the hydrogen will be sex. In all cases, the hydrogen will be six. Three bonds and one hydrogen, four. In all cases, the hydrogen will be six. Three, two, no hydrogen, three, six, two, two and two. In this case, three, one, one and one. In this way, there are nine structural isomers by this molecular formula, which can be solved by using this concept, IHD, index of hydrogen deficiency. It is also called as DBE. Double bond equivalence, double bond equivalence. This concept is also called as double bond equivalence. It is also called as DU, degree of unsaturation. How it is easier? You can see, you can already see that how it is easier to solve the problem by using this concept. Without this concept, it was not possible to solve this problem. But using this concept, this problem becomes very easier. Thank you, thank you very much. I will discuss a next trick or concept in next lecture.